how does Uniswap work? Okay, so Uniswap is here. Let, let, let me let me pull it up. Actually, because I've never quite used Uniswap myself, so not quite the, the expert in it. But I can kind of speak to it at a at a high level. So Uniswap.org, this is the, the the site. So if we if you launch their application here, right? So as they say here, based in uh, with their own lingo, Uniswap is a fully decentralized protocol for automated liquidity provision on Ethereum. Right? What does that mean? So Uniswap is used for liquidity pools. So best example are with projects. So if a project could be a project, could be a market maker, if anybody wants to to really create liquidity around a token, what you do is you go to Uniswap using their software, their smart contracts, and you basically, ideally, you, you provide half and half. So let's say I have my token. Let's say this token is called uh, Ian Bellina coin, right? It, or it could be token metrics token, right? And I, I want to give this out to people and create liquidity. So what, what I do is, let's say I have, let, let's say I'm a project and I have a million dollars worth, right? So I bring half and half. So I bring a million dollars worth of tokens and a million dollars worth of some other pair, could be ETH. Then you provide that as a liquidity pool, and anybody who wants to then buy that token can can buy that token because now you're bringing liquidity. You're basically acting as the market maker, so you, you you're essentially creating a market. So with Uniswap, anybody can create a market on any token. It could be the project, it could be investors who are holding a bag and they want to get out or they want to just provide liquidity because maybe the project was very incompetent and not, not, not able to provide their own liquidity. So uh, that's why the, the, this platform has really uh, blown up. So let me let me kind of go through an example here. So if you go here, so this is their, their swap feature. So anybody can, can come here in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion, connect their wallet and swap any ERC20 based tokens. So you can come here via the liquidity pool, right? So in the example I gave, let's say I, and I have an example, I have token metrics token. Anybody can come here and buy the token. So you could say, I want to swap 10 Ethereum for a token. So you go come here and pick a token. Obviously token metrics token uh, does not exist. But in this case, let's say it's it's ant, it's bal, it's band, right? We we're just talking about band protocol, I believe. I think that's that's the token. Then it goes through. It gives you the. It basically acts like a dex, like a decentralized exchange, and it swaps the token for you. And it's all done peer to peer through smart contracts in a decentralized fashion. Uh, then you can also come here and send tokens to people, right? Uh, and then you can also use liquidity pools. Right, so if you want to join in a liquidity pool, and and I believe you also earn uh, a share of the transaction fees. Um, to my knowledge, Uniswap currently has no token. Uh, I'm I'm not sure if there've been talks about them creating their own token, but the way things are going right now in DeFi, I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if they end up creating their own token. I mean, if they make their own token, DeFi is going to the moon and beyond because we saw what happened with Compound token, and Uniswap is one of the most popular platforms uh, in DeFi. So if we go to, if we check the traffic here uh, with this nice plugin, so the traffic has been trending. So back in March, they're getting about 18,000 visits a month. And then in April, it went up to 56,000, then 86,000, and now 90,000 uh, in June. So, I mean, they've been, they've been growing very, very fast. So DeFi is definitely in. And ironically, uh, so the popular countries are coming from the U.S., France, Germany, the U.K., and Canada, right? So the question is now, uh, what will U.S. regulators think <laughs> about this? Because because uh, we know what they did with Ether Delta, but I mean, this is really a protocol. You can't really shut this down. So I mean, we're definitely living in interesting times. Um, Bill, anything else to add to that? 
I think any mechanism that makes it easier and more credible to trade or have an interest rate for crypto while crypto is rallying like this, okay, are very powerful signals, right? I think another one that's out there is like the Coinbase IPO. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Right? When these things start happening and they start getting people excited, even though I'm not a Uniswap expert, okay, it builds excitement without a bubble. It's legit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I know some because Coinbase has been getting some some flack because of, of it being centralized and them now working. So for those who don't know, Coinbase signed a contract with the Secret Service, I believe. Uh, it was an article in, in the block where then Coinbase Analytics is now getting paid by government agencies to provide analy analytics data uh, on, on blockchain. Uh, I mean, but I think either way, whatever whatever you think about Coinbase, Coinbase is still the pillar in crypto. It's, it's the gateway people join crypto. So somebody was asking, uh, which platform should I use to buy to buy crypto? I mean, Coinbase here in America is the most popular platform to purchase crypto. Uh, that that was the first exchange I used to buy my Bitcoin and Ether. Uh, nowadays, I don't really use them. Uh, I would say after Coinbase is great for beginners, but their fees are very high. Uh, I would probably opt to use Coinbase Pro or Gemini or maybe some other platforms. Uh, I haven't used any. Uh, for me, I mainly use Gemini and Coinbase Pro. Uh, I do have a Kraken account as well, but haven't really used that. Uh, la Earlier in the week, I did have, uh, I, I was a guest on the show Money Talks with uh, Bill, who's the CEO of, of Abra. Uh, that's, that's a mobile wallet. That lets you buy crypto with fiat, so maybe check that out as well. But yeah, I mean, uh, that's uh, that's very interesting. But with in, in terms of DeFi, Uniswap is definitely a very interesting project, definitely worth keeping an eye, eye on. Uh, even if you aren't on the DeFi trend, I still think it makes sense to just try it out. I mean, for example, I mentioned earlier, I'm now kind of trying out all these different DeFi tools, right? So I was trying out Instadap. Uh, I'm probably also going to try out this as well. So just just kind of keep on educating yourself because I mean this could be the future, the future of finance, the future of crypto as well. So you definitely want to make sure you're keeping up with the newest trends.